Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with week 48 of Marguerite Miller's challenge. We're going to do that and then we will, um, I want to show you a few things that I made at my retreat. And then also I have a couple of projects to start that came from my retreat. So I thought we might do that. We'll see what we have time for. But first let's say hi and hugs to Lindy, Tin Lizzie, Jane and Brenda. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And um, Lindy, I just I just love your name. I have a grandson named Lyndon and we call him Lindy. And so every time I see your, see your name, it makes me happy. Okay, let's jump in. Mushroom, I have some stickers over here. Illustration from a children's book. I have these two illustrations I want to use. They are from this book that, that I got at the vintage market and not to worry I have um, scanned the imagers I I will I will do more and I will get a at some point get a digital done for you guys because many of you asked for that okay and then a zigzag I've got a I've got a little scrap here that I thought we could use um Dried leaf or flower. I've got these and I've never used them, so I thought I'd use those. And then something loud. So my first thought was this horn. And then here's a drum. And just because I might want three, I have the harp as well. So, and then a quote. And the quote I'm going to use is from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it's, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. So that's my plan. Um, I think I'll cut down these to begin with. Um, I'm just going to use my ruler and rip them. Hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll rip all right. Oh yeah. Ooh, and that's just lovely. The paper is so aged and yummy. I love it. So, hope you guys are all having a good day. I just got back from a doctor's appointment. Had my welcome to Medicare visit. Oh my gosh. Seriously. How did that ever happen? It's, uh, you know, it's rough when even the government thinks you're old. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, I had the cognition test and all that kind of jazz. I did fine, so that's good. Okay, I wanted to see how big this was going to be because, yeah, there's going to be room at the bottom. Now, I could possibly, I could put that, which that would be kind of pretty. What if I do this one with kind of a jaggedy, jaggedy, raggedy edge? I like that. I think I'll do that. This is going to be um, a bit of a, I don't know, what would you call it, monochrome. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that's that page. And then we'll be, we'll be adding some other things. Let's just get that down. Oh, to grab any, need some glue sheets. Okay. Let's just get this down and then we'll worry about the other side of the page. So anyway, oh, and isn't that pretty on the other side? Yeah, that's that's the killer, but I love those little girls, so that's what it's gonna be. They're just too cute. So, but I have scanned both of them, so. I actually started this video and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I got I need to scan these. <laughs> before they're in my book because they would be real difficult to scan in my book. My book is real chubby now and so that would have been hard. Okay, let's just get this in up at the top. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, and then this is our little piece to go across there. So I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, let's 
see the only thing that of significance that happened at my appointment is I got my got my um, pneumonia shot. Well, it's the only one I haven't had. I've had shingles. I've had the flu shot, my COVID. So I got I got my pneumonia. I'm I'm gonna be protected from everything. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this one out now. This one has a pretty one on the back too, but it has a pencil mark through it, so I didn't keep it. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. And I kind of, where did I see that? Mabel. That was my grandma's name. And here's another one that says Mabel. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to put that on here somewhere. Let's tear down this. And I'm just going to put that there. So I think under the E there, I can pull that off. I just want that name on there since that was my grandma's name. So I'll put that there and then maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to put that there. Okay, I think that should do it and then that will be covered. Oh, excuse me, itchy nose. Gonna kiss a fool. That's what my mom used to say. Nobody down here to kiss. Not even Alfie right now. He's upstairs making sure that Mike is doing a good job on dinner, I think. That's what he's up to. I'm going to put that there. I know it's not covering that, but we'll see about getting that covered. Okay. I'm not distressing or anything because I just want the, the paper to be as it is, which is gorgeous as it is. Okay. This. Okay. Okay, so now we're covered. Except for right there, right? Just put that right there. Okay, now, um, let's see, where would we like our little things? Maybe I put that there, and that could go there. And then we'll pop some mushrooms around. Okay, let's see if I can do this without eating up my glue stick since it has all these little openings and creases and crevices and everything. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, when I came home from the doctors, I was pulling in the garage and 
scout that walks in our neighborhood is I actually went to high school with her and so I ran out of the garage to say hi often as she's walking by the house I'll we'll stop and have a chat you know um but she today gave me the name of a construction company that Fingers crossed, we might be able to get them to do um, the work on our porch and stuff. So I was thinking of putting that right there, which I think I will. I'm going to cut it right there. Put this a little bit here and there around. I do think I will distress this because it's... It's new. the zigzag happen in here so that's good I haven't been able to put my pictures of my um, Marguerite Miller on Instagram lately because it keeps enlarging them like I'll take a picture of this and you'll get this much on Instagram I don't know what's happening so I don't know that anyone has missed seeing them there but it's kind of annoying so I'm not sure I must have a setting weird or something did know don't know okay there's that um let's see I will where else we would like to have a little bit of that. Could put a little across here. Like three of them. And then we could put some, some somewhere on this one. Oops. So anyway... That was exciting. So Mike's giving the guy a call, and we'll see. Because I, if you've been, <laughs> if you've been following my continued saga of not being able to get um, I think I'm gonna put that there, but I'm gonna snip off a bit. Um. Anyway, if you've been listening to my saga on that this will be the fourth person we've called and we can't get even a call back this one had a um like a receptionist so it's not just calling a cell phone number and then never having them call you back yeah it's just been weird i don't know um just Sort of the way of the world these days, I guess. But we had a lot of other work we'd like to have done on the house, but that's kind of the most, what would you say, pressing because, um, I wonder if I should go that way. Put that there. I think I will. Anyway, um, the... Our front porch is starting to deteriorate the, the um, concrete. So it's not just aesthetic. It's really like the concrete's failing. So we need to do something. And that neither is in neither Mike's nor my skill set to do something that big construction-wise. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put the um, quote here. I have to decide what I'm gonna put it on. That's kind of cool. I'm going to cover up one of the words of Mabel, but that's okay. Maybe I 
see if I could put it there. I don't know. I'm going to have to write it out and see if it's going to fit. Okay, let's see. Just a regular pen, I think. I'm going to write on this. Okay. Nothing great was ever achieved. Great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay, it fits. That's good. Yep, I think I am going to distress the edges of that so it stands out from the other paper a little bit more. And I could put a leaf behind it, couldn't I? Now that I think of it. So let's see on those leaves. I've never worked with these before, so I don't quite know what I'm going to get. I think I'd like to use the green because that would give a little, a bit of color to the page. Okay, okay, I like that. are neat. That's the back, I think. Okay, so let's hope my hope my glue doesn't show through. I'll try and just go light and on the edges. Cuz the quote on top of it will hold it too. Hold. I think so. Okay. Okay, and then Probably should have a leaf on the other side. I have these smaller ones. That maybe could go. Maybe could go here. Like that with maybe a mushroom. I don't know. Winging it. Winging it. Totally winging it. I was thinking of doing, for loud, I was thinking of doing a crow. And I was looking for a sticker, a crow sticker. Couldn't find one. So. But then I was fussy cutting some Christmas stuff. And there was that horn. And I was like, yes, this will work. That's loud. Because initially that's what I thought about. And then. I was like, I don't know that I have a horn, but yet there one was, so I'm just going to stick you on there. Yuck. Okay. Now. We have everything but the mushroom. So let's move this stuff. this. We won't, we won't move that. Move all this. And 
see what we've got for mushrooms. Um, got lots of mushrooms in my the botanic botanist sticker anthology. This is on my um, Gail's favorite things on my website as well. Ooh, now it'd be nice to have some red. Ooh, there's a good red one. But that's too big for there. Um, those ones. I love those ones. Okay, I think I think I might put. Well, yeah, I need to. Can't do the white border. And I am also going to put extra goop on them because they're not super sticky. There we go. There's that. I think I'm going to put the little ones with it too. Oh, guess what? I forgot to look at my watch. No surprise. I even have a sticky note and I still forgot. So we'll say we'll just do our thing and be done when we're done. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> oh goodness, Gail. Okay. I, as I said, I did fine on my cognitive test <laughs> in the doctor's office today. It was funny because <laughs> um, she said, "Draw a draw a clock that says ten to two." So I did, oops, maybe I'll do it once I get it down. So I did, and then <laughs> she was doing something on the computer, and so I, I drew, the, <laughs> drew the clock into a pocket watch, <laughs> made a pocket watch out of it, cracked her up, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Okay, I like that. I'd like a little something there. Ooh, I wonder how that would be. I'm wondering how. Yeah, I like that down there. Okay. Um, yeah, anyways. <laughs> she laughed. I said, well, you were busy, so. Then she gave me three words at the beginning. And then at the end of the visit, asked me what they were. I remembered them. So I guess so far so good on the old memory, huh? I swear I think doing these videos helps. Even though you wouldn't know it because it seems like I'm always forgetting something, but. Okay, so there's those. <coughs> Excuse me, I feel like I need a little something else, like right here, right here, maybe right there. You know what I would like is a little piece of lace, I think. go to there. Yeah, I, it just, it needs something. So there's that. Okay, in my defense, I think I forgot. Um, 
um, to look at the time because I was thinking about, oh gosh, I need to scan these pictures before I use them. Maybe I'll just do right there. Let me quit fussing around with it. Okay. So anyway, yeah, forgot it again. And I do have a sticky, it's just a funny thing. But you know, so it goes. Okay. This corner up here just needed something. There's a lot going on down here. So I'll get this on Instagram if it will, if it will go. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just uh, kind of baffled of why it's doing that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call that. Well, maybe I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to just slightly rub over these because they're very, very stark white. Okay, that's it. That's week 48. Wow, can you believe it? Okay, so let me get rid of a couple of things again. I've got all my all my sticker books. <laughs> and you can, um, I have the botanist one on my favorite things, but you can um, search the others on my favorite things and find those two. Okay, so there we go. I love those children make me happy okay this is probably a good thing to put away all right we will set this aside and oh I was gonna show you I didn't get a whole lot done I'm not gonna lie I was busy visiting and going to the vintage market and going to get food for other people and whatever so this is fun this is a coaster that one of the quilter ladies she made each of us a coaster so that's mine with the tape measure. It it fit me the closest <laughs> since I'm not a quilter. Um, so that was fun. I did this little ruffle, which is going to go on the side of one of my pages in one of my Christmas journals. So I was excited about that. I based it on this one that was from ePapery, and I loved it. It took me forever, though. So I don't know how many more of those I'll be making. <laughs> then I made some little charms. These will hang off of a bulb pin. Um, if I get this close, can you see? It's got a ribbon crimp at the top there. And you can get those in the jewelry department of places. And it'll have, like I say, a bulb pin on it. So like if one wanted to, one could hang that off the side of a ruffle or hang it off the side of a pocket or a cover. And so I made some Christmas ones of those. So I'll just show you. With, with what I had, I didn't take a whole lot of supplies to the retreat because I thought I was gonna be going, oh, and then that one I did, I did the, that little slow stitch on too. Um, I thought I was gonna be going to my son's for my grandson's play, but it ended up we didn't go because Mike didn't feel well, so we didn't go to that. So I had more time than I thought I would. <laughs> okay, and then fabric flips. I made some Christmas ones. Fabric flip. And again, you just attach these at the top and they flip up. I mean, you could use it as a belly band, too. Could do that. So I just put together a bunch of Christmas ones there. Just 
else with different different fabrics and stuff on that one and this one this one needs something right there probably a little flower or something but I didn't have any with me then I got started stitching this belly band got started put some French knots and went around a couple things that's as far as I got there <laughs> and and then I then I put together some more to to stitch just to have them in my bag so I can stitch them I put that one together and I put this one together so we'll ha I'll have those in reserve to stitch didn't do anything on this cover at whatsoever didn't even touch it but this one I got done I got um, all the stitching done on this one um, yeah so I got this one done so now it's just a matter of taking the envelope and putting it in the middle and then um, and then putting a plain fabric on the back so that will be a project coming up here to finish that let's see these are the undone ones let's keep the undone ones together that and that so all that will go back into my um, into my slow stitch bag then these can stay over here because they're all for Christmas so we will do that I'll just keep these two I had thought I would do a whole bunch of these it it literally took me an afternoon to do that so I was like eh, I don't know okay so then as far as the um, project that I was telling you that came up at the retreat well the lady that owns the retreat house asked me to do a travel journal for her sister for Christmas and then one of my friends there she wants me to do a B um, a B journal and I think I'm gonna do travelers notebook size for um, for her daughter so I need to get going on those they're both for Christmas as you know I don't take custom orders but when the owner of the retreat house asked me and then my other friend asked me I thought well I guess I better do it so I have this travel travel themed um, kit and I apologize I can't remember what Etsy store this came from which is why if you're sending me Etsy shares it's good to have your name on everything <laughs> because it gets into my supplies and then I don't know so it's a wonderful kit it's well put together I just wish I could remember who did it okay so I think I'm gonna use Tim Holtz I think I'm just gonna use this this and then I want to back it and so Basically, the maybe I'll just back it with this one. So the cover is going to be two um, two widths widths thick. So I might I might cut one piece for the middle too. What would I like in the middle of the signature? I don't know what I want. That's cool. So I think let's use this. This will be for the middle. Okay. So this is Tim Holtz French Industrial. And I have a lot of Tim Holtz because I've kind of been hoarding it. So I like my um, traveler's notebooks to be eight and a half by, um, what do I usually do? Eight and a half by four and a half, I think. 
So, so this is going to be the cover. So I probably want the top. So let's go eight and a half. I might go slightly bigger than eight and a half. Just about right there. Because I don't think this gal's going to put it in any pre-existing um, anything. Let's see. And then nine this way. Okay, it's going to cut off. That's okay. This will make a great tag. So that's just fine with me. Yeah. Okay, and so this needs to be eight and a half. I think I'm going to do the top part. So let's do eight and a half in a little bit. I shouldn't have done that because now it's going to be hard to make everything else match. But there you go. So I'm going to do eight and a half here. And then what I'm going to do is um, I will sew these two together to make the cover. Okay. And then this way we go nine. Okay, so this will be the cover folded in half, yeah, and then that will be the inside. So we'll get those two sewn together at some point. And then this one I think I'm going to have as my middle page. So let's go eight and a half. And um, this one's going to be eight and a half by, I think I'll go eight and a half, eight and a half by eight and a half because um, it's going to be inside the folder and the, the cover, I mean, and the cover is um, nine inches. So this will make sure it doesn't hang out. So I am going to just score this down the middle, eight and a half, so it'd be four and a quarter, right? And we're going to do the back side because we're going to fold it this way. So we're going to make our valley, right? Make our valley to mountain. Now it's the mountain. This was the mountain. It's humped up a little bit. Now it's the valley on the inside. So I know that's a, a hard a hard one to get, but at the same time, it's so helpful. Um, now I won't score the cover until I get it sewn around, which I'll do off camera. But see, then this will this will fit on the inside. So let's look while we have some time at other pages that we're going to put in. Okay, I'm going to keep all these because they'll make good tags and stuff. Um, let's see what's in this cute little junk journal kit here. Travel junk journal kit. Ugh, I feel so bad when I can't remember an Etsy shop. Ugh, just kills me. So, but... So it goes. Okay, so there's some there's some good pages and stuff in here, I think. So there's maps. Isn't that great? Um another map. Oh gosh. Ugh. I did tell the doctor today that I feel like I am less coordinated or more clumsy, however you want to say it, than I was when I was younger. That I think is happening as evidenced by my fumbling around sometimes. Okay, so I say, why not put these maps in? Um, 
There's a bigger piece of paper here. That's cool. And that one's cool. And that one. How about this one with airplanes? That's awesome. Okay. So, let's see. This one is folded at just, just over four and a half. So it's not folded right for what I want to do. We'll just we'll just fix it. I'm gonna um it's not torn exactly straight, so I'm gonna get it get it straighter anyway. So yeah, <laughs> when the lady that owns the retreat house said, Could you make a journal for my sister in law? I'm like Oh, I have a lot of Christmas ones to make, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all good. Let's see. So this is going to fold right about there. Let me just, just make a little dent on it. Where's my dent? Right there. Oh, it's Vienna. It's Austria, Barbara. <laughs> Super fun. Okay, and then let's make this eight and a half this way. Yeah, right there. All right, so now we have this. And these, I'm thinking we can just, like this one can just be folded in half. I don't know where these are gonna go. I'm just popping them on there for now. Um, these, I was thinking, what if we do, um, a score line and something can be attached like I could score that and I could attach this one to it or something okay valleys to mountains <laughs> I am going to do three quarters of an inch And then fold that. And how wide is this? This is, ooh, about four and a quarter. So I'm going to need to, I'm actually, I think I'm going to take a little off of that. Both of them want fairly basic journals, so I think... I should be able to whip these up for them fairly quickly. That's cute. That could be cute on some. Um, so I think I will put that on that is my thought. So anyway, put that over there. Don't know if I want another map. I think there's going to be enough in this kit to do more than one journal for sure. Okay, let's see what else I pulled out. Pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. This I loved. Don't remember where I got this either. Um, but if I fold it in half, it's going to fit just fine. I'm just going to have to... off a bit here. Let's just 
We'll just use the ruler. Okay. Okay, so that could go in like that, with that, I'm liking that so far. Okay, what else? Oh, um, those are just coffee dyed. I was thinking this would be fun, this train thing. Oh, and I wanted to, yeah, I need to save that. Okay. Oops, excuse me. That would be me. Um, I am thinking about folding this. Let's see. Four and a quarter-ish. Just going to fold this and then fold this in. So that you can see the whole title and everything. Okay. This goofy one is causing me causing me grief. Stay over there. Okay. I don't think I want the map since I already had that. I have some pictures of somewhere. Some book page. That would be cool. Um, this one's in a little, oh, this one is, oh, I got to keep that because that's all, maybe I'll just tear this off straight. Yeah, I'll save this for a bigger journal or something. But this one, let's see, eight and a half would be right there. I think I'm just, should I fold that up? Oh, I could fold it up this way. Okay. A little under eight and a half, maybe, up there. A little crackly, it might need a little washy. I'm hoping that's oh, it's under four, so that's good. Okay, that will do this. I need to erase, I didn't need to erase that, but the three dollars. <laughs> This was the top of a pad, so had the price from the antique mall where I got this. Okay, that. Um, I was thinking I'd do one of these journal papers. Am I running out of time? I probably am. We don't know. That's that's the beauty. <laughs> we don't know. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's a little crackly too. That might need wash tape too. My vintage is really vintage in this, and so we're a little crackly. Okay, so there's that. And um, this music paper, I love this. It's kind of wide, I think. Okay, it's okay. So let's do this, because it'll be good to write on. Right at the top of that one. Okay. Then I'll just have to switch these around so they make sense, kind of, you know. Okay. I might do this one because it's a little colorful. I 
my husband's going to come down and do some downloading and printing for me. So as soon as I get done filming here, that one might, that one might be a little wide. We'll see. Do you know? Um, yeah, as soon as I'm, I'm done, I'm going to get him getting busy and I'll, I'll work on this. I'll show it to you when it's done or along the way or whatever. Um, we definitely need some coffee bag. In their interspersed. Even the coffee dies crinkly. Okay. I have an owie right there. I don't know what I did, but I keep hitting it up every turn. Everything I do, I hit it. So it's not very happy. Okay, we'll just so now I'll uh, all I have to do is um, sew the cover, kind of sew the cover and decorate it. Really, is about it. And one more coffee dyed, and I think we'll have it. I don't know, maybe not. We might need more because I try to put fifteen pages in these, you know. Because it's a one signature, just like, just a different size. Okay, let's see where we're at. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, kind of like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I have this piece of paper too. We'll do it too. <laughs> And then we will have it. We'll put it together and then I'll be that far. So thanks for working on this with me because I really, it's like, oh my gosh, I got to get these done. Which is, that is why I don't do custom orders. It stresses me out. So anyway, these are all plain. So we're going to fit those. Um. In between things, in between things that are, you know, put that color's different. Um, maybe we'll put this one in there, this one in there. Um, this one here. just because I have all these little cutoffs, I think what I'm going to do, find a spot here. There's that one. Maybe here. I'm going to put this one in the middle. This one down here. And this one here just for some fun little flippies. Okay, so that that is our signature, which will go in our traveler's notebook. Um, this gal is a journaler, and so I want lots of writing space. So like I might put something on, the, oh, well, that's a pocket anyway, but there's not gonna be a bunch of, I'll do something maybe on that and maybe on that as far as pockets and stuff because um, I want it to be interesting but I also want her to have a lot of room to write. Okay guys that oh we got to still do this one where are we going to put it right here just put it at the beginning yeah I like that and then we'll put that on the back okay got it 
Phew. Thanks guys for helping me do that. Thanks for helping me get my collage challenge done. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.